I'm Warner Sir Kelly, and today I'll be teaching you how to iron your uniform. We're going to need some things before you start out. Firstly, we're going to need an ironing board. You're going to need an iron, obviously, and a spray bottle if your iron doesn't have one or if it doesn't work. Some things I want to point out about the iron first. So first what you want to do is you want to make sure that if you have an iron that uses water or steam, that your water gauge is full up all the way. If it's not, you can just put water into it. Secondly, what you want to do is you want to make sure it's on the right heat setting. So the cadet uniform is a mixture of cotton and polyester, so you're going to want to put it on this iron between a 3 and a 4. I'm going to fill up my iron because it's not completely full. And that's about good. Alright. Alright, we'll grab the pants first. I hang up my pants using this sort of hook so that I don't get creases down here when I hang it up using a regular coat hanger. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to line up the creases on your pants. On mine, on both legs, the creases are about the same, so I can do both legs at once, but a lot of people don't have even creases, so they do one leg at once. So the first thing you want to do is if you're spraying water on it, that'll help the creases stay more. And I have an iron that has a steam button, so I use a steam button. Pretty simple. All you have to do is run it along the sides and run it a little in the middle so that you don't get random marks on the sides. Your creases want to be in the middle of the pants coming up the, so the, sorry, the middle of both legs, they should end at around the belt loops, and that goes for the back too. You don't want to forget the one side of the pants. All right, so when you're ironing, you don't want to leave the iron on in one place. You want to keep moving it back and forth. That way you get a nice even crease and you don't burn your pants. If you have an iron that doesn't work nicely, what you might want to do is you might want to put a cloth or an old t-shirt or something as a barrier so that you don't leave iron stains on your uniform, especially for the light blue shirts. So just be really careful around this edge here because the pocket isn't moving out of the way. And there we are. That's better. See? Nice and good. So sometimes you'll notice that your creases aren't in the right place or that you have train cracks, which are multiple creases on one pant leg, and those are really bad. So in order to get a crease out or start a new one, what you're going to need is you're going to need a lot of water. So I'm going to spray and spray and spray and spray my pants right here. It works best if they're damp, so preferably just out of the washing machine, but in this case water will work. And then you're going to want to use steam if your iron has it. So I'm going to be pushing down on this. And you want to apply a lot of pressure. So it looks kind of messy. But as you can see, the crease, which was really prominent before, it's fading slowly, ever so slowly. You may not be able to get it on the first try, depending on how prominent the crease is or how stubborn it is. So what you're going to want to do is run it through a couple times in the wash and do it and just persevere. But as you can see, it's getting a lot better. Keep spraying. And keep steaming. And really, really, really apply pressure. So as you can see, it's a lot better than what it was before. It's not perfect, but it's getting better. And once I find the right spot to put the crease on, I can steam that one and we'll get rid of this one. All right, so now we're gonna wanna do the shirt. What we want for a shirt is we want a shirt completely free of wrinkles and we want two nice creases down the sides of each, well, one down the side of each sleeve for a total of two. Sounds good. So, the first thing I like to do is I like to do the back of the neck. Not everybody does it, but it, like it, it leaves it nice and crisper, so I like that. Just a quick one here, and there we are. Next, I like doing the place where my shoulder flashes go. Not everybody cares about this area, but it nice, 
it's a nice touch up. Really quick. There we are. All right, so then what I usually do is I go in a circular motion around my shirt. So I start with one side, I do the back, and then I do the other side. So I lay it down flat so that I'm not ironing any creases into it that aren't supposed to be there. And then I start like this. I'm using the steam button on my iron because it's a lifesaver. But if you guys don't have a steam button, you can just use water spraying. Top's a bit harder. There you are, nice and good. And then I do this sleeve. Now while I'm doing this sleeve, I'm laying out the crease nice and flat in the middle so that I don't make another crease. Spray a little bit nicer on this. And while you're doing the iron on this one, you wanna make sure that you don't leave it on for too long because if you burn this blue shirt, it's gonna show really, really easily. Now we do the back. Nice and flat. And a lot of wrinkles usually get in the back, so if you guys have really wrinkled shirts, you want to focus on it. Right now, mine's not that bad. So it only takes a couple seconds. There we are. Folds in the shirt are fine. All right, and now we're finishing with the last side. So I'm just gonna do this side and then the sleeve. And it's really important that when you do this, that you do all the parts of the shirt. So the front, the back, the sides, all that stuff. Because if you don't do it, we can see. So if you only do your back, we can see that you didn't do the front. Line up the crease. There we are. And there you have it.